No, 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 no. It's time to take on Dr. Potter himself and also get a love tap from his friend the Piranha Plant. We need to make sure that that happens. He goes and does a long lunge towards one of the plants so that we can use this on him and hopefully destroy it. Hopefully we're not too far, but there we go. So without the plants, we can now shock him and destroy. We'll probably still have to do this in three cycles. If we're lucky, we can at least kind of look cool doing it. So yeah, 200. That's all I could do. Did you see it stop going down? Oh, we can actually do this in a second cycle. All right, but this fight is pretty janky. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little odd. He's gonna regain his little buddy back after we murdered it, and all we have to do is wait for the ha 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 and uh, do the long lunge. If he does that, it won't work, so. Oh, hello. There we go. Timing, thank you. Okay, you have to wait, otherwise he follows you, but if we do this, hey, 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 you're done. Get out of here. And with that, Dr. Potter, I'm sorry, but I want to see you at my desk after class. But of course, as is to be expected, bless you, Ori, uh, we are not done yet. So again, we'll do this very unnecessary throwback to classic Mario games of old and climb up the vine to collect our next elevator button. Get over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, but now I got to climb back down and return all the way back to the elevator. It'd be kind of cool if it just kind of, you know, faded to black and we were there on our own. I'm certainly capable of doing that in editing, but I'm telling you, man. All right, so let's make our way back. Ooh, money has come back, or maybe I just missed it the first time we were here. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't think there's anything new, except for maybe some rats running around. Little rug rats, here we go. They're all happy to see me. Okay. Away we go to floor number eight. One of my personal favorites. It's definitely more puzzle oriented, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, oh. oh, yeah. It's time to head to Paranormal Productions. And oddly enough, we haven't heard anything from Egad in a minute. I wonder what he's been up to. Probably some shenanigans, but still. Anyways, we're definitely going up more than one floor, but come on. Come on. Come on. Load, damn it. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to old school Hollywood here in Luigi's Mansion 3. I almost said New Moon, which would have been both wrong and embarrassing. Last time we took on, I don't even know where we are in videos, I'm assuming it was last time we took on Dr. Potter. And now, while I'm still recording, although I just had a bathroom break and got even more water because I'm terrible and I drink too much, uh, yeah, we're, we're back here and I'm really excited to get this going and on with because 
there are some really cool elements to this that feel especially unique for the world of Luigi's Mansion, and I like it a lot. It's among one of my favorites, but it has probably one of my least favorite endings to this floor, so we'll get into it in a little bit. But first, a purple gem in the shape of a film reel and spooky, uh, these things, rope guards, I guess. Uh, also a key that's right over here, so very interesting. We can't reach it because Luigi has not yet perfected the art of going up steps. <laughs> Uh, let's see what's in this little trash can. Oh, hello. Right, trash. What did I expect? But hey, ooh, golden trees. More of them. I like it. What happens if I destroy? Destroy! <laughs> That's what I get. Now, oddly enough, we could make a fire extinguisher appear here. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is, but just like with all fire extinguishers, we can just go ahead and make it go crazy. Get all that. Oof. Okay. It's a maverick. <laughs> Do it have gumballs inside of it? That was weird. Huh. All right, well, over here we have a, a bit of a illustration bonanza. We have Soccer Mario. We have, ooh, taking on King Boo. That's probably Dark Moon. Uh, I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Over here we have um, Remember the Olympians. And uh, that's Bowser's Fury, obviously. Now, interestingly enough, if you try to, uh, you know, pull any of that off, you can't. But this one has hinges, so I'll take that. There's something making noise somewhere. <laughs> and we get money! Money for days! Oh, and also a punching bag. Put your dukes up, John. Ugh, there you go. Actually, I could use that for <laughs> destroying something off screen again. Okay. Speakers. That's something we could definitely do. We can <laughs> do plenty of that. And oh my god, there's money oozing out of everywhere. Is this what Hollywood is like? No, no, not quite. So yeah, there are other things we'll be able to grab to destroy things with. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. Nope, Luigi, get it. What the? You can't, what? I've never tried that before. Interesting. Okay, well, let's destroy more things. Let's see what happens. We're going to the lobby of this like film production studio. This is probably what it looked like when uh, Rebecca Black got her deal going, right? Are we still talking about that? <laughs> Alright, let's destroy this. And we can find ourselves a real good example of, um, you know, skeletons in the closet. Excuse me, can you do the thing? Thank you. So there's a hidden red triple X rated film reel <laughs> hidden under the rug. Oh, uh, that's any good. But there's also one behind the counter. So let's go ahead and, there we go, ruin this piece of film and be presented with a yellow one. There's a reason why they're giving these all out to us right out in the open and uh, it's gonna be clear soon. But for now, I will release this into here. Nice, and I can do that. All right, here we go. <laughs> Luigi just looking really nervous. I'll set him up in there and, oh, forced camera change. Interesting. That's some money, I guess. Thank you. Just, just flying headfirst into it. Uh, there's stuff over here, too. Yeah. Give me all that. Don't smack me in the face, please. Nice. So we get a ton of money. And whenever you break trophies open, uh, those will also have copious amounts of cash in them. Cash. All right. So I'm going to go back over here because I didn't look into the garbage. Speaking of trash. There we go. Good amount of money there, and more money bags. Jesus, just looting this place. It's obviously some kind of scam, right? There's no way there'd be this much loot just on hand. Eh, give me that, nice. And destroy that, nothing else. Okay, so I think that's it. Aside from the speakers in the very first room, let's step forward to find out what everything is gonna be going on about. But first we need a key, which means we need to turn this bad boy on and gotta gotta catch the latest soaps. Uh oh. Huh. Well, the conceit of this stage, the powered televisions have the power. Oh. to teleport you places. 
lovely. I'll take it. All right, well, let's, uh, now that we've made it all the way up here, get our rightfully earned key. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. That was like eight <laughs> egregious uses of Luigi's happy collection exclamation noise. It's wonderful. Uh, but now that we have the key, and we can also bring this with us, uh, we'll be fine. And that's the big thing. The stuff that you have suctioned at the end of your nozzle, you can only take through a television. You can't take it through doors. So, we'll have to keep that in mind. And actually, you know what? Let's just show it off. Can't do it. There you go. Done. But now that we have the key... So we have Morty, the movie director ghost, who is holding on to the button we need. And unfortunately, we can't get it back until we find his red megaphone. Good old fashioned uh, just exchange there. But we're going to head into the editing room just a little bit because there is a ton of cash in here. Piggy makes for days, awards up the wazoo. Amongst other things, you're going to end up coming out of this like 18 times richer, my friends. So just suck everything up that you can. And uh, there you go. Destroy. Destroy all that stands in your path. It's also just really cluttered and not very, uh, I don't know, not very organized. I don't know if I could work in this environment. It's like people who have written books in shows uh, and they just happen to leave all of their books just laying around on their desk. It's just, it's just weird, you know, a weird trope of everything. Can I even reach that? Hello? Thank you. This is how it's done. <laughs> it's going to destroy it against some very fragile uh, film. That's nice. I don't think that does anything. It's probably just going to be a distraction, if anything. Ooh, money. Just ruining it. Uh, anyways, the obvious thing to do here is to rotate the film reel and uh, make a movie happen. As if I can stop making other things <laughs> get sucked in. Oh, he's running. He's running right at us, dude. I gotta get All right. It's another golden goob. Yeah, I missed you in the first room. That's all right. We have another chance to uh, have ourselves a little meeting of the minds here. Thank you. All right, thanks for all that. This room is very small, so it's pretty easy to just kind of get them how you want them. Nice. All right. What about what about the other ones? All right, here we go. Last but not least. Oh, hello. Can I? Thank you. Oh, what the? I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Accidentally clicked. My bad. <laughs> Even Luigi was confused about that. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're safe. Sorry, Luigi. I didn't mean that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to be a part of that. Okay, so like I mentioned, a very important aspect of this stage is having all of these televisions uh, powered up and ready to go. But one of the first things I want to do is head over here and get some cash money. Nice. Oh, and a bucket. I don't need no stinking bucket. I already have a bucket. Someone left it for me in the prisons. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. That was anticlimactic. Poochie, what are you doing here? Good God, you're ruining everything, man. Well, there you. Oh, hello. Thanks for all the treats. Jesus, that's a lot. All right. Yeah, that was weird how there was, like, no music playing. <laughs> it felt really underwhelming <laughs> getting caught up by, uh, you know, a prop, as it were. Can I not pick this up? What is that? That was not reacting whatsoever. So we have this now. This is fun. Hello. Hello. My name is Mr. Kong. I'll just get rid of it because it's going to be really annoying. And it's going to show up right behind me. Cool. Okay, so a lot of these... Excuse me. Like, uh... See, you're just going to be caught with things that are way too big for you to suction 
through every course of this, but a lot of these black boxes will actually have a ton of really good stuff in them. So, we have four different, uh, of course that would be a prize. Give it to me. Four TVs. Four which need to be powered, and each one corresponds to two rooms on either side of, uh, the room. And we're gonna have to go into each of them in order to turn it on and... Uh, be able to teleport with certain items, such as a jack-o'-lantern, if I so desired. I don't think I want to do that. So, let's just smash it open. Because in each of these rooms, there's going to be a lot of money and just, like, things you might want to collect. Hello! Hi. Thanks for the cash, I guess. Didn't mean to destroy you. And then we'll find ourselves on the set of several movies. And we're actually going to be a part of the entire process of filming, editing, acting. We're going to do it all, baby. And it's going to be great. So, I'm sure there's probably bound to be some good stuff here. But at the moment, we can't really do anything until the TVs are on. So, we're just going to head into each of the rooms and flash it open. So that we can return back here with certain items to get to the next one. So, that's fun. And you'll see that there's a, a blue screen here. That's going to be... Pretty important, I would say. Is this something I can do with this? This water? Oh, it's fog. There we go. Look at that. Knew it wasn't working right. Oh, and there goes the ducky. Okay, cool. So, that's fun. Also, on the screen, you can actually... Sometimes... There you go. You can see me. That'll be fun. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. See what that is. Ugh. Oh, more money. And leaves. Who put that in there? Josh? Jesus. Alright, none of that. Oh, hello. Of course there's stuff in there. Go. Do the thing. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing but money in these film reels. We're really getting hoodwinked, aren't we? <laughs> Alright. So, we'll play with the camera a little bit later. But, let's go back out the normal way since we're going to be doing a lot of screen hopping. And, uh, let's go up to number two. And we'll do that one real quick. But the idea is, we need to find a certain item that we can carry over in between sets in order to kind of make a cohesive storyline appear. Because now we're on the set of Game of Thrones, and that's fun and all, but we'll, we'll come back here later. Yeah, there's just a lot of nonsense. And these rooms are pretty small, too. In the corner of one of them, there is a gem that I, we need to make sure we find. I don't remember which one, but let's go and smash this open Ugh, against the lights. The very fragile, very expensive lights. And can you guys, like, go away? Go. Do the thing. There we go. <laughs> All right. You two. You can... We'll add that to the set. And there we have it. Very nice. All right. Well, first things first. Obviously, the thing that we need to do is take the bucket we found next to the first television and step on through. Very nice. And the reason why, you know, we want a bucket is because we will need to use it over here. So we're going to switch to Guigi, and we're going to have him dump it into the well. But Luigi's got to be the one behind the camera and make the magic happen. So, three, two, one, action. Let's go over here, drop it in. Ugh. Once we do that, it should be filled. Didn't hear a splash. Wait. Oh. Uh, thanks, ma'am. Preach. Thank you. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go this way. And in order to get out, there we go. That's all we do. So now we have a bucket filled with water, and no matter what we do with it, it will never be unclenched. So, there we go. Let's take it back through, and now we can head to set number two. And it might kind of seem a little redundant or unnecessary, but this will be important for later. So, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Just going to go ahead and drop that right there. Guigi, you can take the honors of taking that. And now, I will take this. <laughs> All right, uh, avoid getting arrowed or bludgeoned with a uh, rock and hay. Here we go. All right, the return of the goobs with swords. Knew they had to recycle them at one point or another. 
All right, how about this? Do some of that. And you're going to run away in there for some reason. I'm confused. Why, why would you run in there? Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, you went around. All right, well, can you do me a favor at least and help me destroy that shoddy wood job? Ugh. Yes. Wait. Oh, boy. Well done. Your, uh, your cannonballs actually did something. All right, well, even more are going to start appearing here now, and it's really annoying because they have shields, and I don't like dealing enemies with shields. Because they're just gonna... No, I didn't... I said that. But I grabbed the wrong one, so now I'm gonna get stabbed, and you guys are all gonna enjoy it. Or I could just do this. There we go. So, let me just do that. See your shield save you now, friend. All right, now one of these, one of these. One, two, three, and now, whoop, hello. Did not mean to flash you. Oh, he ran. He was smart. There you go. Uh, not today. 